Let's start to practice El Chigong. Okay, what is Qigong? Qigong is an ancient Chinese sport or health art or we call it health Qigong or just Qigong before it is called Taoyin it means leading and guiding your energy throughout your body we are all energy, every cell has plus and minus so in order to be alive we need a lot of energy so, Qigong is an ancient sport, 7,000 years old, 7,000 years old at least. My journey with Hell Qigong started actually since age 11. Since at that time, uh, no Chinese live where I live, so I need to depend on the articles on the, from the English uh, magazines. So I learned some uh, Qigong, Baduan Jing, and Yi Jing Jing since I was age 11 by myself. So my parents wouldn't support my sport career. So I, I actually started by myself. So at that age, I had a very bad scoliosis. Scoliosis. And I wear apparatus since age 14, since my high school. I was very shy, so Qigong practice up to that moment opens me up. So I, you know, I joined the ping pong. I joined uh, in high school. I joined uh, wushu. Actually, no Chinese at that time, so wushu I started by myself. But I joined the uh, regular classes like three times per week. I joined the uh, full contact karate. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and uh, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, I joined Taekwondo classes. Uh, my full contact karate uh, coaches were uh, European champions, and uh, one of them was uh, Brankos Gajaric. He was the uh, first up to 84 kilogram world, world full contact champion in 1978, by, organized by WACO. World Association of Karate Organization later become World Association of Kickboxing Organization. So at that time there was no name kickboxing mentioned. So in the meantime I practiced some Sanda also. So I did a lot of uh, practice, a lot of uh, research, a lot of uh, readings. And in 1988 I go to ship. I work as an apprentice officer uh, going to the east. So I was in China, I was in few cities in China along the coast. So I went to the parks to, to see what I, what I saw in documentary before, to see people practicing Qigong and Tai Chi in the, in the parks. So I joined some groups and I followed them and actually felt some nice feeling, a nice energy. And uh, so I started to study it even more from that time. My first step to join Health Qigong, uh, International Health Qigong Federation and Chinese Health Qigong Association was in around 2007 when I was in Beijing World Wushu Championships in the Olympic Village, so in 2007, and, and I saw people there practicing Health Qigong. So I, I joined, uh, I want to research about it more. So I wrote a letter to International Health Qigong Federation in around 2008 or 2009 to start a group. Actually, I already had a group. I teach a lot of people Health Qigong in my country since that time. Uh, but I want to officially join the International Health Qigong Federation with my group. 
But at, at that point, uh, my life go the different way. So I moved to to live in Macau, China. And uh, at the beginning, I was just uh, working and uh, didn't have much time to find uh, any uh, activities. So in 2015, I saw a group demonstrating Hel Qigong. That was uh, Macau Hel Qigong. Macau Hel Qigong General Association had a performance at Tap Six Square for the sport day. So I actually immediately go there and ask for the to join the group. So next year in 2016, I, I already go with them to the Anhui to International Hel Qigong Championships that I actually won gold medal with Liu Zizhu there and uh, also had a very good team performance with the Macau Hel Qigong General Association. From that time on, I continue to research and study and teach Hel Qigong uh, until this moment. I was a four-time world Hel Qigong champion, uh, around four times the international Hel Qigong uh, champion in Anhui, and I was Asian uh, first Asian Hel Qigong competition. I get third place with Yi Jin Jing and fifth place with Baduan Jin. And also I was many time champion of a Chinese uh, Hel Qigong meeting between Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau and mainland China uh, with, with the team and individual. And also uh, joined the Zhuhai Games and I also win two gold medals there. So actually winning the medal is not so important for me but it's sharing the benefits of Hel Qigong that during the competition, we are performing the Qigong form that we practice, that we teach to the new students and they, they can benefit from these forms. Presenting the forms to the world means sharing the benefits of Hel Qigong. So more people share, more people will find out about the benefits of Hel Qigong, more people will join, more people will enjoy the healthy life, um, uh, more government can, uh, can copy the Chinese health system that uh, allows people to become stronger, strong immunity, strong strong nervous system, strong body and mind. And so the, the health, so the doctors don't need to take care of the little things that will take care by the health Qigong, but they will concentrate more on the serious health problems that people have in their lives. So usually we have the doctor's office is full of people that should not be here. They, they, they can easily, and doctors recommend them, can easily be shared, easily be deal, dealt with some exercise or stress management program that most people don't do it. So it's very good that they follow the instruction of their doctor if they recommend them, and usually they do that.身气功八段锦预备式左脚开步与肩同宽转正怒目抓握回收传传怒目
头，摆尾。Hello guys, this is the famous stadium we do Qigong performance if you saw it before. Today we have practiced also for Winter Olympics Summer Games. The health is the most important thing in life. And I, Fan Chuan, Wu Yu, Tan Zhu. 健身器工推廣日、暨世界健身器工日喺工人體育場舉行，吸引全體位以及健身器工總會合辦，分別進行講座、學習心得分享同集體演練三大部分，吸引唔少健身器工愛好者參加。有練器工四年嘅陳先生表示，身體越嚟越好。今日一同推廣呢項運動，會現正籌備健身器工八段錦千人展示。射雕搭会，开工，分手，转腰，下次，还原。有中年龄最小的刚上幼儿园，年纪最大的年近八旬，还有不少外国朋友参加。这个健身器工。二百二十人参与。賽事分為個人同埋團體兩個項目，目的係透過比賽，令更多嘅精。以丰富广大市民的文体生活，支持正统健身气功活动，抵制邪教对人民生活的侵扰。驻华的记者罗。
健身气功八段锦，预备式。左脚开步，与肩同宽，屈膝下蹲，掌抱腹前，中正安舒，呼吸自然，心神宁静，下落。下落，上举，五劳七伤。Thank、okay. you.